Welcome to Tips on How to Pass the Computer Proficiency Exam by Harrison Waters. Tip 1. Every student must purchase a packet and you are not allowed to share. Hey, did you buy your proficiency packet yet? No way, it's too expensive. I'll just use yours. Freeze! Actually, you can only use one number per packet. Hey, it may cost a few bucks, but it's better than buying books. Tip two, do not put off the test because many do not pass on the first try. Hey, have you taken that computer proficiency test yet? No, I have like a thousand times to take it. All you have to do is pass one time. It'll be cake! Freeze. Actually, there's not as many times to take it as you think. Do yourself a favor, take it as early as possible just in case you fail, you'll have more time to make up for it. Even computer wizards like myself had to take it multiple times, but he'll figure it out. So what's the point of this test anyway? Beats me. I think it's just so you can use a computer. Freeze! Actually, the test proves that you're a proficient in the new Microsoft Office. Future classes like analytical methods cannot even be taken until you pass this exam. Well, the test results are in. Let's see how they did. What? I failed again? Gosh, why did I wait so long to take the test? Don't worry, dude. Just use your packet number next semester. Freeze! Actually, every semester, students have to buy another packet. With prices around $25 these days, that can add up pretty quick. Don't be like me and have to buy the packet twice. That test was so hard. I wish someone would have told me it was going to be that tough. Yeah. There should be an instructional video preaching the importance of this test. Yeah, that would help me out. Freeze. Actually, there is. And you're watching it. <laughs>